So in this video I want to check out, the folks at Rocktech sent me this new, uh, their Android TV box, which is kind of cool. So this is me a, a couple of weeks later. I have a special promo code if, if you're interested in buying the Rocktech G2. Use code 10 upscaled if, if you want to get 10% off. The code's only valid until September 22nd of 2023, so act quick if you want to save a little money on this Android TV box. And let's continue with the video. But I like boxes that run stock Android. There's limited bloat, that means when there's less bloat, that means better performance. Uh, operating systems it tends to run smoother. And uh, you know, this has stock Android. Most notably, when it comes to like features that, uh, that are important to home theater enthusiasts like I am, I would consider the fact that it can handle W2HD Atmos, it can handle DTS Master Audio, DTS HD, uh, pretty much whatever you want to throw at it as far as audio codecs. This would be considered like an NVIDIA Shield competitor because it's in the sort of the same price range. If you don't need all the extra features that the NVIDIA Shield offers, like, you know, like, like the AI upscaling um, and, you know, a little extra GPU power for better than like, you know, your typical like tablet quality like gaming, then you can do, you know, if you don't need all that, then you know this is this you can save a little money and get a box like this one. Again, runs stock Android, has a, has a quad core CPU, has four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this box also supports uh, all the normal like HDR codecs like Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10 Plus, all that good stuff. If you're not rocking or if you're where you where you would have it set up doesn't have an Ethernet connection, it does ha it does have Wi-Fi six built in, so you're going to get the best. Wi-Fi speed. Uh, you can get all your normal apps, typical apps that you would that you would be able to get in the Google Play Store, which is a plus. And uh, it does have a USB, a micro SD, if you want to expand the storage. And it does have gigabit Ethernet, which I find very important. And uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's do a quick little unboxing of this thing and see what's inside the box. All right, so let's uh, let's open this guy up. You know, I'm always willing to give a new product a try. You know, especially, I mean, I've tried NVIDIA Shields, I've had multiple, I've had maybe five Apple TVs, six if you count, like, a 1080p one that I bought, like, eight years ago, maybe. So, it's always good to check out new products, and, you know, maybe you'll get surprised. Okay, so it's, a uh, I mean, nicely packaged. It's a good-sized device. Let's see what we got as far as I.O. Uh, looks like there's the micro SD slot, a USB 2.0 and a USB 3, which is nice for added uh, throughput. And in the back, we have an optical, that's nice. Optical out, I guess a, US, a USB C. Uh, wow, analog AV for if you have like a little, you can actually get on a analog AV I don't know if it's included in the box, the special cable you need, but we'll see. Um, HDMI, HDMI out and gigabit, and you've got the barrel plug for power. Nothing on this side, and looks like there's an LED that lights up. And there's like a, sort of like a rubberized textured thing, which is kind of interesting and different, uh, with the rock, rock tick symbol there. Let's see, what else, let's see what else is in the box. Um, what do we got? So we got an instruction manual. So if you need help setting it up, you got all the instructions here, but I'm gonna go through it real quick on my TV so you can see. Uh, you got the AC adapter, barrel plug one. They even include an HDMI cable. Looks like thick gauge one too. I bet this is a pretty good quality one, I would say. It says high speed, 4K. I bet this will work, I'll probably try it out. So they don't include batteries for it, but you're gonna need two triple A's. So I'll go get, let me go grab some triple A's and hook this thing up to my TV. I just plugged it in and it looks like you get the little Rock Tech, you know, logo there. Dolby Vision started working immediately on my TV. And you get your normal stock Android, Android TV symbol there. Pretty standard stuff. So in order to pair the remote, you're gonna to have to hit the long press, the home and the back key here. And there we go. And then it connects to the, to the Android TV. It wasn't working, but it, after I did that, it started working. So 
I'm not gonna hit enter. I'm gonna use Ethernet, but you can actually change the network and select Wi-Fi if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue using Ethernet. I recommend Ethernet when you can. Uh, looks like we have some, a mixture of Chinese and English, but that's okay. It looks like it's downloading an update, so I'll keep recording when it's done. Supplying the update now. Let's see, uh, pretty quick. Okay, so I finished updating and now it's asking me to sign into my Google account. And I'm gonna put my email in and I'll, let me get through this stuff and then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and continue. Now it's gonna ask you to accept the Google Terms of Service. I'm gonna hit accept. And I'm gonna use location. Um, I typically don't say help improve Android, but I'll just leave it on and I'll just leave. You can actually, it actually gives you a little information about these things. So I'll just go ahead and hit accept to move on. I mean, it's a pretty typical, like if you've set up an Android TV before, this is pretty typical stuff that you were gonna see. Uh, it's gonna ask you to do Google Assistant stuff. And I guess I'm gonna allow, this allows, if you search using the voice search on Google, it'll search through all these apps that, that are here. I'll just say, why not? Personal results might as well. And yes, why not? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it office because this probably is gonna go in my office for now. It's, this is technically my office. I'll just call it office. And uh, it's gonna suggest a bunch of apps that I've it's installed in the past. So I'm just gonna hit continue. And then it's gonna, these are just some sort of tips. And you can actually cast, this actually has a built-in Chromecast. I forgot to mention that. I don't use Chromecast very often, but a lot of people like it. So, but I usually just use the remote for stuff. And yeah, why not do lower power sleep mode? Apparently it already set up like the volume. So it automatically adjusted the, uh, without me having to do anything, it automatically set up the volume control on my, with my television because it can communicate with it, uh, which is great. And it identified my correct TV model, which is a Vizio M70 Q7. So continue, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. And here you go, stock Android. So I'm gonna go over a couple of like, the things that I like to check off I'm not going to go through the whole like Google uh, Android settings. I think I already applied the system update. So I'm going to, I always check for it just in case, but I think it already did. And, and it's up to date, which is great, which I knew that. Here you can factory reset it if you're going to sell, sell it. That's something good to know. Let me go down and I'm going to just go straight to display and sound. HDR settings. Um, for this TV, I would definitely want to, I like HDR auto. Personally, I like HDR auto because if you're watching something that's not HDR, it'll actually switch to non HDR instead of like forcing HDR and like converting it to HDR. I like that. It's sort of like match, it's like match resolution in your Apple TV. Screen resolution already set to just to the most that my TV can handle. You can actually change the scaling of the screen. It's already set to 100 and it fits perfectly. HDMI CEC. If you like, if you're gonna use this thing with a TV or, I typically turn this off and it still, it doesn't affect the, how, the volume control. Um, so I typically, I don't like it. If you don't, if you're not using CEC, I would suggest turning it off because it can cause issues. Turning on and off different devices when you don't want them to turn on or turn off. I typically don't mess with that. And you can select whether if you want the optical uh, digital output on or off, I'm gonna leave it on, but obviously if you're not, if you don't have it plugged into anything, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna try turning on pass-through, but I don't actually have this connected to an, a receiver right now, but I will in a, in a bit. I'll show you how I have to test, I'm gonna, I still haven't tested pass-through, but I'll turn it on when I need to. Um, these are the things I typically look for in, in, in Android TV. If you need to get a new app, you can go to the Play Store right here and 
you're good to go and it, you're gonna get this is the normal play store you know this isn't like it, this is the same play store you'd get on an nvidia shield so yeah that is tip, the typical setup for this it's pretty straightforward so before i move on and plug this thing into uh a home, uh, home theater uh, into a receiver to see how it performs with like you know uh, co different codecs and HDR and all that stuff. I already saw that Dolby Vision turned on and all that stuff which is good so HDR works just fine and Dolby Vision is the most taxing HDR standard uh, pretty much um, that's as far as I know. So I just wanted to kind of give it a do a little size comparison here with a this is the newest uh apple tv so it, this is like the thinner model i just bought it like two weeks ago or so it's brand new uh this is an nvidia shield which hasn't changed from a long time and uh this is the rock tech so as you can see it's uh it's a very very similar in size and as far as io is concerned uh, the rock tech has got everybody has got is the winner i would say this is because you actually do have that, uh, you have analog uh, AV and optical optical out, as long as, and you have your USB and, you know, micro SD ports there. Um, here you only have, I mean, the NVIDIA Shield would come in second. You got the, you know, you got your uh, US, USB A's, you have your ethernet, and the Apple TV just has the beer. The basics you got your power ethernet and hdmi so it's a purely digital experience this one definitely has a lot more io and it's uh definitely you know it's got a little bit of weight but it's not terribly heavy either so you may experience some issues sliding down but it, they did put you know some rubber on the feet so that should help in that regard um so yeah uh, definitely comparable in size and these I would say that these two products are the ones that you would compare it to because this is 150 this is 200 and this is 150 as well so that sort of gives you a little comparison there and these two run Android TV and the Apple TV runs tvOS so I'm in my theater room and obviously you can probably see some some uh, boxes down there in the frame still getting this thing up and running but uh this is the room i decided to test this in uh because i think this device is somewhat is worthy of of uh being in a room like this but as you can see it looks it's just stock android like i've mentioned before in the video but i, I just want to go through some uh, i want to go through some apps that i you know obviously show that you know, i'm going to log into netflix Start playing 65 here. And then we'll pull up the details and let's see what kind of... So right off the bat, so we're getting Dolby Atmos and it does switch over to 4K24, which is what you want. Pull up on my, you can see there in the bottom, it says HDR10. My No, no projectors really can do Dolby Vision, but I actually, well, I showed that it works with Dolby Vision on my TV earlier in the video. But as you can see, it's playing quite well. So let's back out of this. So it works well with Netflix. Uh, if it works well with Netflix, it, you know, I'm not going to check every single app, like popular app out there, but Netflix is pretty much the important one. You want to make sure that it, it does switch over to 4K 24 hertz, uh, which is the, which is what you want. And it also plays in HDR. So let's go to Plex real quick and I'm gonna play just choose a I'm gonna go in my library here and just choose a movie so as you can see I'm playing a little clip from ambulance I'm gonna try to do this quick so I don't uh, get into any issues but it's playing it's nice and smooth uh, let's go to the details playback details just playback info it's direct playing uh, the 4k movie and it's doing direct true HD and if I raise the vault as you can see, the my Anthem is, my processor is saying that it's Dolby Atmos and it's 4K 20. And if I pull up my my uh, projector saying it's HDR 10. So uh, this works very smoothly. I wanna go to, I wanna check out uh, HD Home Run and I'll show you that it can actually uh, work with, uh, it can actually decode uh, encrypted channels. So I'm gonna just kind of. So one of the only, one of the few, for some reason, in my, in, I have Verizon FiOS. One of the few channels that are encrypted is like Fox Business and Fox News, 
And as you can see, it's picking them up quite, quite well. Pretty much every other channel is uh, unencrypted. I don't know why Fox News is so, why they're one of the few channels that are encrypted. I, I can't tell you why. I'm just saying that I can just switch to any channel and it, and it works very nicely, very smooth. All the channels work really well. So uh, if you're looking for something that plays back HD Home Run, then this is another good option. It's and it's very smooth and you know very pretty pretty darn snappy. Uh, yeah, I'd say comparable to the uh, Nvidia Shield. I just pulled up my Apple TV app and I'm gonna go to my library and I'm gonna select one of their. I actually do, uh, I have the Flash here and I got Avatar: The Way of Water. So I'm gonna just demonstrate that it plays in Dolby Atmos here as well. And HDR. So let's let's play it here. Takes a sec. There you go. We got the movie, and we got HDR10 there, and we got Dolby Atmos. So we're good. So let's check out. Lastly, I want to check out the Disney Plus. I feel like I've got you know Disney Plus, you know uh, Apple TV Plus, Netflix. Once I got the, those are like the big ones you got to check. So I'm in Disney Plus and I'm just gonna find a movie to play back real quick. Here, we'll do Quantum Mania. All right, so we got HDR10 there on the projector and so I'm playing uh, Ant-Man Quantum Mania and as you can see, we got, we're not getting Atmos, but again, it depends on the app. You can see that this device is more than capable of playing Atmos. I showed you in Plex and Netflix, so it depends. For this particular app, Disney Plus, no Atmos, but you know, you still get Dolby Digital Plus, I believe, which isn't so bad. So lastly, I want to thank uh, Rock Tech for sending the, this, uh, the, this Android TV uh, G2 device over to check out. I think it's a really good choice if you're looking for something that's not, uh, something that's a little cheaper than an Nvidia Shield, uh, something that's more capable than an Apple TV as far as like being able to play back like full resolution, uh, like home theater soundtracks, like, you know, True HD, Dolby Atmos, True HD, uh, DTS Master Audio, DTS, uh, DTSX, all that. Um, to be able to play all that, all that stuff in full resolution. Also to be able to switch your refresh rate down to 24 Hertz, which is where it should be if you're watching a movie, because that's the, the original refresh rate of the, of your content. Anyway, it's a good device. I think it does, if you're looking for something that, that can pass through audio very well, I think this is a good option and it's, it's a relatively inexpensive one at that. I'll leave an Amazon link below if you want to, if you're interested in purchasing one. If you have any questions about the product, feel free to leave them in the comments. And it really helps a lot if you can like and subscribe. Uh, I'm really trying to get this channel to grow to 5,000 subscribers. That's my newest goal. I'm pretty close, only about 400 uh, subscribers away. So every subscription helps. And I'll see you in the next one.